You have two best friends and you have something that both of them want desperately. If you're Alex Mack, does having superpowers help you to solve this problem? Find out in this week's episode. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm Razman's Reality, here to alter your reality with another video on the secret world of Alex Mack, Season 1, This is the Feud. So if this is your first time here, and film, TV, and comics is your passion, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. My apologies for this week's Mac Monday episode being uploaded on a Tuesday. I had two appointments to go to yesterday and then somehow or another inexplicably two of my screenshots for today's breakdown went missing, which caused me to simply run out of production time. But as always, if you would like to follow along with the secret world of Alex Mac with me, and if you like to pick up the DVD, you will find it at no extra cost to you down below in the description box through my Amazon affiliate link. The episode begins with us learning that Nicole is spending the night over with Alex. It's Alex's turn to do the dishes, and after some initial complaining, Nicole offers to do the dishes for her. Alex has a light bulb go off in her head and says, no, no, Nicole, go on upstairs to my room. I'll be up in a minute. That light bulb, of course, being that she can utilize her telekinesis as well as her zapping powers to help her do the dishes. So you may recognize this iconic scene from the intro for the several first few episodes of the series. Meanwhile, after being disappointed earlier by his father who couldn't attain the tickets on his own, we see that Ray is listening to his favorite radio station and found out that his favorite radio station is giving away the tickets to the All for One concert that he so desperately wishes to attend. Does anyone remember All for One, by the way? They were awesome. Anyway, Alex and Nicole are also listening to the radio station as well, and Nicole convinces Alex to try to call into the radio station to win the tickets too. The problem is, however, that her dad is on the phone tying up the phone line, so she utilizes her zapping abilities to zap out the power of the lamp in the living room, fooling her dad into thinking there's been a power outage to get him off the phone. And yes, youngsters, believe it or not, that was a real-life problem in the 90s of not everyone having their own phone and different people in a household having to share the same phone line. As you can tell by the ecstatic look on their faces, Alex is actually the one to get through and actually, with Nicole's help, wins the tickets. Because Nicole was essential in helping her know the answers, she of course chooses Nicole to bring with her to the concert. The next day at school, Ray of course is furious about this and he can't believe that his best friend Alex didn't choose him to go and see his favorite band with her. Alex desperately tries to explain that what was she supposed to do? Nicole was right there with her and helped her to gain the answers. And Ray is like, I don't care, we're best friends way longer than you've known Nicole, so this is a real problem for Alex. Desperate, Alex seeks Annie's advice, and Annie tells Alex that if the concert really does mean that much to Ray, that she should just try to explain it to Nicole. As Ray is unaware of this, he is desperately still trying to get tickets on his own, so he goes to Jerry, who is actually scalping them. Upon learning how outrageously priced the tickets are, Ray is once again left without hope. Meanwhile, Alex does indeed try to take Annie's advice and tell Nicole that she really needs to take Ray to the concert, but before she can get anything out, Nicole just talks to her the entire time about how grateful she is that Alex chose her to go to the concert, that she doesn't even really like the band, but it's the principle of the thing since they were there and did it together. So once again, Alex is left between. Meanwhile, a still desperate Ray runs across this flyer stating that Paradise Valley Chemical is offering a $250 reward to anyone with information regarding the GC161 kid. Ray having the knowledge 
realizes that he can trick the plant into, instead of giving him reward money, obtaining the all for one tickets for him. As you can ascertain from the huge smile upon his face, Ray has his plan to utilize Alex's GC-161 hat to give the plant the information they're looking for. He obtained the hat by simply asking Annie if he could see it. Ray then arrives at Paradise Valley Chemical Orphans and Dave are awaiting his information. He tells them a story that's very similar to what happened to Alex that night, only claiming that he saw a kid run away from the accident. Vince comes up with the idea to have Ray wear the hat, and since Dave never got a clear shot of Alex that night, he begins to believe that Ray was the one involved in the accident. Which is why we're seeing here a similar scene to that of Alex running away from the chemical truck. Alex learns what Ray has done and is justifiably terrified, telling Ray that he has put them both in incredible danger. Ray says that although he is still irritated and upset with Alex, that he would never do that and that everything is fine. Meanwhile, although she tells Alex not to do it herself, a clearly panic-stricken and upset Annie and informs Alex that her hat from the night of the accident is missing. Alex puts two and two together and realizes that Ray must have taken the hat from Annie and has it at the plant as he is giving Dave and Vince his information for his tickets. Which of course makes Alex realize that Ray is in great danger, causing her to surrender her concert tickets to Nicole and telling Nicole to take whoever else she wants. Nicole is naturally very upset by this knowing how much Alex was looking forward to this concert and is trying to figure out what is going on, particularly because she just saw Ray say that he was on the way to the chemical plant for his tickets and wants to know what's going on, thus confirming Alex's suspicions. And of course we receive our absolute confirmation as we see Ray in danger of being experimented on by Vince right here. Morphed state Alex to the rescue here and they realize that they need to get Dave out of the room, so Ray asks for some water, leading Alex to travel back underneath the door and utilize her telekinesis to get Dave's key card for the door away from him and get Ray out. Ray can't help but continue to worry Alex, however, as he of course cannot leave without the tickets, as you see the happy look on his face. Despite Alex's worry protest, Ray insisted that they did not need to return to the chemical plant for a hat from the accident, and he explains that all he wanted to do was know what it looked like, that it was all a plan to trick the plant, and he bought another identical hat and spray painted it gold. That's meaning that the one the plan has is a fake, leaving the two best friends free to attend the concert the way they always wanted to. So to look back on this episode is a very strange thing for me indeed, because first of all, the episode title is all wrong, because this was never a feud between Ray and Nicole, rather Ray being extremely jealous of the position that he thought Alex had put Nicole into in the impossible position that Alex was in throughout the episode. Ray acted like a jealous idiot, and that's what this episode should have actually been entitled, was Jealous Danger because it was Ray's jealousy that put Alex in potentially very clear danger. But at the same time, teach us a lesson that no matter how jealous you are, your real friends are always there for you. It of course is also a very strange one, because it's one of the few ones in the history of the show that did not have a B plot whatsoever. It was all about point A to point B, with this all for one concert storyline. So be sure to let me know what your opinions of this episode are down below in the comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so right now by hitting the round subscribe icon on your screen. Check out the Secret World of Alex Mack playlist for any Mac Monday episodes you might have missed and support Razman's Reality on Patreon. And as always, this has been your Razman's Reality Check.